All right, everyone, I'm at the FCO airport. Uh, it's pretty recognizable because it's the one with that giant rotating screen in the middle to consume products. It's pretty cool. So I'm at the airport, and uh, today, today I'm passing through the normal gate as I normally do. There's a, there's a Saudi A321 today going somewhere. It's going to, I think, Jeddah, probably. But instead of going to the regular section, I'm going to the business class section. That's right, I'm going to the top of the A380, the, the double-decker plane. It's got two floors. And what's funny is they make you go up those stairs right there, but then you have to go back down a series of, of walkways to actually get to the gate, so it's kind of weird and counterintuitive. But there's the there's the plane with its two floors, the 380. This is the first time in my life that I've been on the top floor, entering it right now. And, you know, I love exploring planes. I love going through them. Uh, this time that I'm entering through it, we're going to do a goofy thing. We're going we're gonna to do, like, a sneaky thing and, and look at the first-class section for a bit. Ah, that's pretty cool. But we're going in the business class section today, which is also really, really cool. There's the seats. That's what they look like. Pretty cool. They got like this mini bar thing next to them. And there's mine. So they brought me some apple juice because, you know, they know me. I'm Mormon. I don't drink alcohol. I'm just kidding. I'm not Mormon. I just, I just don't like it. But there's the tail camera on the 380. That's pretty cool. They got all those features on that plane, all the advanced cameras. Uh, they also got this, this thing that I don't understand. You know, they got... All this water and this Pepsi that no one's going to drink. And they got the Perrier water. Let me, let me just turn that around so you can see that better. Uh, they got this Perrier water, which I'm not going to drink that because it's, it's been sitting there for like days. And, and you know, it, it kind of ruins the fizz of it. I don't like fizzy drinks in the first place anyway. But yeah, they got these headphones on board. They're noise-canceling headphones, which is sick to have on a plane, obviously. Uh, there's the NC power thing, noise-canceling power thing you got to plug in. And I'm stupid. I don't know how to plug stuff in. I'm very stupid, you know, Linux channel, I've got like 23,000 subscribers, I can't plug in a cable. But there we are, the Canadians have arrived, which I believe is, is you know, just a sign to get away from the gate pretty soon. Um, there's got, they got ice on this plane, they got entertainment, you know, and if you know me, you know exactly what I'm going to be clicking on. I'm going to be watching myself some, some good old Black Adder, that's right, I'm going to watch some uh, Black Adder, my favorite series. You'll hear more about Black Adder later. That's right. Now, now they got the menu. Menu is pretty cool. They got lots of different options. All these alcoholic drinks. I'm not gonna touch. A, a statement by the chef. Okay. Um, and they got the actual food that people eat. So the appetizer. I'm not gonna get one, but they're pretty good. I'm gonna get some chicken. I think because chicken's pretty cool. And the shirt. I guess if you want one of those, then cheeses. If you want those. And if you go to the next section, they got a bunch of stuff in the lounge. So that's the stuff that I'm going to be stealing from the lounge as I walk through it. You know, just grabbing, like, cakes and, and sandwiches. Um, and if you turn the page, it's Arabic. Anyways, they got this magazine on board. This is the Ice magazine. Um, now, the reason I opened this isn't for the actual magazine. I just want the waste bag. The waste bag's pretty cool. You can crack open the waste bag. And once you've cracked it open, which I kind of struggle to do there... You can then put your waste in it. You can put, well, you know, pieces of plastic, annoying little things, whatever it is that you don't want to carry around, you just put it in the waste bag. And they even got this helpful little compartment for magazines that I can put the waste bag in. So like the plastic from my headphones. I'm going to actually look at the magazine now. They got an advertisement for the Dubai Islands here. They're this rebranded thing by Nikhil. Uh, and they got all these channels that people are going to watch. I'm not going to watch them. Onboard Wi-Fi, because I definitely want to be annoyed by emails and texts while I'm trying to sleep on a plane. Um, and then... We got that uh, features of the plane, you know, stay hydrated, drink, don't die, don't die on the plane. And they're selling skin tags of the first day 380 That's pretty cool if you want to get one of those, I guess. Commemorative thing. Uh, then if you go over here, the Canadians are currently being raided by the FBI, which is, you know, that's, that's something, I guess. They got a hot towel action here going, and then the plane is beginning to taxi, which, you know, that can only mean one thing. It can mean that now, you know, it's time to take off. We're taking off. All right. Now, we're going to have to say goodbye to Italy. Goodbye, Italy. Goodbye, Rome. We're going away. We're going We're going away. You know? So they got this tablet thing, and under it they got these buttons, and what these buttons do is they control the, the, the windows. You can close the windows of the button that's got these blinds. And we're flying over the sky, you know? It's pretty cool. But then, check out this. Check this out. My lights work now because I changed my seat. I had to change my seat. I, I bet you guys didn't even notice that. The orientation of the seat changed. Pay attention to those kind of details. Now, this little tablet they got on the plane, this one, it can do lots of different things. You can pause your black adder on it that I'm still watching. And you can search on that, I guess. Here's the bathroom of the plane. Now, 
the bathroom has a window in it. So I, I don't know what design decision this was by Airbus, but the bathroom has a window in it. If you if you ever need that, I guess it has a window in it. I'm gonna eat some nuts now. Pistachios are pistachios are my favorite nut. I got the chicken here, right? But here's one thing I don't understand about these meals. How am I meant to use this thing? This is a, a, a mix of oil, virgin olive oil, and and vinegar. How am I meant to get the oil out of it? I don't understand this. If anyone can explain that, explain it to me. But then we got the lounge. This is the famous lounge that's on 380. I still don't believe they genuinely have a bar in a plane. I mean, this is crazy. They have a bar. They serve drinks. They got a massive television all in a plane. And I can steal all their sandwiches and their apples, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm flying, I'm flying in a bar. The first time I've done this in my life. And yeah, I dragged the Perrier. I don't care. I said I wasn't going to drink it earlier, but I drank it. I got thirsty, okay? I wanted some water. And I got the stars set up that, that right there. I got those stars set up for the night. Make you feel relaxed, I guess. Um, and there's the city that we're approaching slowly with our plane as we descend. Now, interestingly, um, we got this video to advertise Dubai outside of the window before, before you land, which is pretty cool. Uh, but then after that, I caught that headline. Oh no, I'll be talking about that in a future video. Uh, now that glow you see out the window under the wing is actually Dubai. That glow is, is the city. That's how powerful the lights are. So we're going to land now. We're approaching Dubai and there we are. We've, uh, we've landed in Dubai. Back home, I guess. So after we're done with that, we can see some colorful planes at the window, which is pretty sick. And then, the rest of the airport, all that kind of stuff. It's time to sign a watch Black Adder. And funnily enough, the plane parked right at the same time that Black Adder was finishing. If you guys know Black Adder, this is the final episode where they all die in the war. Um, and after the characters die in the war, uh, the plane actually parked, which is, or at least got pretty close to parking, which is pretty cool. And then, there it is, it's parked, and it's time to go. It's time to go out of the plane, out of that finger at the top there, which is about to connect. It was a nice flight, had a nice experience. I don't think I'll ever do anything like this in my life again, but it was pretty cool. It's the fanciest flight I ever had. But yeah, there we are. There's a Dubai airport and I'm back home. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.